Hey guys, how are you guys doing? In this video I'm going to give you a demo of the new Co-Pilot 2011 and hope you guys like it. Let's get started. I've been using Copilot for my iPhone for the past year or so and hands down this new refresh of Copilot Live, the 2011 version, is absolutely stunning. One of my main gripes, and I've said this in my previous reviews, what the UI of Copilot wasn't the best when compared to the competition, but now Copilot Live has taken it to the next level and they beat their competitors easily. I'm just showing you some of the functions of Copilot Live. Like the previous version, you've got the different modes of transport, whether it be your car, caravan, motorcycle, bicycle, or hell, if you want to walk it. To be honest, it's as if they've just given a brand new life to the Copilot software in all, with the new features that they've got in, the easier UI, and some really nice you know, features they've added which I'm going to go over. So just to give you an example as to how much the UI has changed from the previous Copilot to this new Copilot 2011, on the left hand side you've got the traditional or the old one, and isn't there a difference between night and day between both of them? The new one looks definitely much fresher, much nicer to look at, much nicer to use when you're in those situations where you just want something to happen. You've also got the option of checking live fuel prices in the area that you're currently in or around you and of course the weather feature which again is pretty damn neat. Let's see if Copilot gives us the right weather forecast for where I am at the moment. Let's zoom it out and see in the back. Bam! Yes, that is correct! Another great feature which I never got to test out was the active traffic and this is a premium kind of service add-on pack which you have to pay for uh, and basically as the name suggests it will kind of gather up real-time information on traffic hotspots and if there's traffic on your route it will kind of reroute you or give you the best or the fastest way which needless to say could be a lifesaver. That is correct, Wikipedia is also built in and it gives you all the nearest kind of point of interest which is quite good. But here's probably one of my favourite features on the new Copilot Live, find my car. How many times have you went to a shopping centre or whatever, you've parked your car and the numpty that you are, you forget where you've parked your car. Well, there's an app for that and it's built into Copilot. Here's a live demo of how it works. And basically, the more near you go to your car, the less time or less um, distance it's shown on the phone. And then it also gives you the kind of sound, you have reached your destination. The only downside to this is it doesn't work in multi-story car parks, or at least at Glasgow Airport, which is kind of a downside, but I hope they'll bring out something new in the next version of uh, Copilot. I've personally noticed they've definitely increased the speed of the recalculating route, and basically if you missed your exit or your turn, it's going to recalculate that route a bit faster than the previous version of Copilot, which is also good, you know, if the next turn is right up next, uh, it's going to kind of give you the best option. So here you can see I've missed that exit, and it's going to recalculate it and tell me to take the next exit, and it's given me the green line to show that it has indeed recalculated the route. Lane guidance is next, this is something we had in the previous version as well, but they've updated the maps. This area has been kind of rebumped or refreshed recently, so it's good to see that the maps are quite good and the lane guidance does work a bit more accurately. And there we go, it has indeed shown us the right way to go and they're giving us a more accurate coordinate as to where we're heading towards.
So here's another favourite feature of mine called Photonav and as the name suggests it basically goes to the destination or wherever you took that picture because the pictures are geotagged. It's a neat way so if you've taken pictures of your family say down south in Manchester instead of putting their address in put the photo in and boom you're there. And no I'm not messing with you when I'm showing you Apple Pharmacy this is indeed a real business. Nevertheless this new feature is amazing it's known as personal routes and basically when you put a destination in it's going to give you three alternatives to that destination so you can choose which way you want to go it'll give you the estimated time the amount of miles usually there's three options but in this case we've only got two uh, and you know whichever route you prefer you can go to but guys that's it for this review i hope it's been useful it's available now on the android marketplace and coming soon to the apple app store